people who think that Lotus is just a music festival really miss the point of what we do. It's about a bigger experience and about something that resonates after the weekend is over. We have a lot more in common as people in this world than, than you would think. And it doesn't matter whether you, you live in this little town or whether you come from far, far away. You bring people together, you get rid of politics uh, and conflict, and you put arts out there. There's really great possibility f for beauty and, and joy and dialogue. It's a smallish world music festival in a, in a smallish Midwestern town, but the possibilities that it, it, it reveals are really special. From the very beginning, our audience was respectful and enthusiastic and they listened with open ears to music they'd never heard of, and that's what Lotus became. Lotus became sort of a, a voyage of um, experience. You experienced new sounds, new musicians, new instruments, new ways to dress, and they loved it. And that tradition has continued. Our audiences, the musicians, always say are the best that they perform in front of uh, on their tours of the United States. They have nothing but glowing uh, respect for the, for the festival itself and, and the audiences. Uh, some people even go as far as saying it's you know, their favorite place to play in America. Um, we've had several groups say that. Everyone outside of three people um, in this organization and all of the events that we produce are volunteers. So Lotus to me is a huge number of people that live in the community, volunteer their time graciously um, for these events that they love. Okay, so budget is not high, you have three people working, but boy do they get everybody fired up about it. And it's amazing that they do it. And it's a musical feast for the senses. You'll hear people that you've never heard before, you'll see bands that you've never heard before, and you'll see your fellow audience members sort of appreciating it just as much as you would. You'd hear this sweet black angel cry. I think because everyone knows what it is what the product is and, and really wants to do it. It's, it. it's something, because we like it so much and because it is so unique, I think, um, we want to share it with other people and, and make sure that people come and find out about it and, and, and witness it for themselves. There's a 100-foot tent with 2,000 people in it and a terrific sound system and, and lights and, and the, they, they, until you actually go, you just can't imagine the way the place can rock. It brings this essence of Bloomington out onto the street for three days of intense energy, almost a euphoria. And seeing that many people on the street and being able to enjoy that much music going on simultaneously is, is just such a remarkable, remarkable thing for us to create here and for Bloomington to be a, a, a willing host for. There's always been a street element to Lotus. There's always been that, that feeling of, of uh, crowdedness and, and interaction with your neighbors as you're moving through the streets. But now these parades are, are creating reasons for people to come out on the street other, rather than, other than just moving from venue to venue. So we have these breaks in the, in the music that, 
that allow bands to, to lead parades up and down the street. There's no better way, I think, to create bridges of understanding than through music where everyone um, is excited and can hear it and feel it. Um, and so I think there's that aspect. And I think, too, um, there's people from all over the country that come um, to hear all sorts of different music. And I think no matter what, um, every year that you come, you're going to be exposed to something new, something that you might not know that you love, but as soon as you hear them, you'll love them. Thank you. Tight shot on her. There's a three, three Lotus represents what is so great about Bloomington. Many people consider Bloomington to be a, a smaller town, but the amount of culture and just opportunities that we have, see these incredible events. It just makes this town really special. To think that a town like Bloomington could, could attract such a, a, just an incredible world music festival such as Lotus is, uh, is really incredible and it, it, it just seems to continue to grow and get better every year. You can take a lot of it, but there's no way you can see it all. No matter how uh, aggressive you are about trying to see everything, it's not possible. There's just so many things. Um, and, and even if you're very careful about it and try to get to as many things as you can, somebody later on will go, did you see this band? And you're like, oh, I couldn't make it to that one. I couldn't make it to everything. And you're like, oh, you missed me. And you're like, oh, because you just want to see them all. Right? That's, that's part of it. You know, you can't see everything. It's still a small town ambiance in the sense that you see you know, people you know, people you recognize, people you maybe haven't seen in six months, but people that you know. And, and, and you greet each other and you hug on the street and say, what are you going to go see? Sometimes you go see it with them, sometimes you go your own way. But you have this tremendous array of, of, of artists singing indigenous music from cultures across the globe, all within walking distance. It's just a tremendous uh, communal uh, activity that brings the community together uh, in, 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 a, in a very gratifying way, but also brings the global community to us here. The musicians themselves spend a lot of time going from venue to venue, buskering on the streets, talking to people. They're very generous with their time, and it really is a community. It really is a joyful bunch of people, eager to see the next, what's the next thing happening. People sort of take it for granted here because it's been around for such a long time, but it's something truly unique with such a big community buy-in, and it's un undescribable in many ways. Unless somebody has been part of it, it is very difficult to explain. Here in Bloomington, it's, it, it's, a, it's a small town. You walk from venue to venue. You're seeing acts in churches. You're seeing acts in, in smaller venues. Uh, you've got a wide variety of acts. You could go see a, a louder act in a tent and dance the night away. Or you can go see a tremendously intense solemn acoustic performance in, in a church vestibule. I mean, it's just an amazing array of things. To me, I don't know if there's anything like it. This is something absolutely unique to Bloomington, and that's what I try and tell people, uh, just come. Just, just come and experience it for yourself. Everybody understands this is really cool. We're all gonna have a really nice time. 